Hi, I'm Tavia, and today I'm going to walk you through how to make this stylish bucket hat. I have to make about a hundred of them for my family reunion this year, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. So without further ado, let's make it! Now let's go over the materials needed to make this cute bucket hat. First, we're going to need the hat press form, our Cricut materials, strong heat resistant tape, of course a connected device, our hat press, Cricut Explore 3, Cricut Smart Iron-On, and of course a bucket hat. I ordered about 200 of these online, but you can get yours at your local craft store as well. I'm gonna push everything to the side here. And we're gonna jump on over to Design Space. I have my design up and ready to go. I just need to change my family name here. And we're gonna attach the image here. This is just gonna make sure everything is grouped and we'll cut together. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and make it. Before we cut though, since this is smart iron-on, we're gonna make sure to do without a mat because it's a smart material, it doesn't need a mat. And the most important step, we're gonna mirror our image. If we don't mirror, it's going to be backwards on our hat and we don't want that. All right, looks good to go. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna find the material, let's see, Smart Iron-On. Then it does give us a little warning to make sure that the image is mirrored, which we've already done, so it's good. It gives us a little reminder. And then always with the Iron-On is going to be the shiny side down, because it's gonna cut the image on the matte side. I'm gonna load it in here. All right, and it's just calibrating, making sure everything is the right size. All right, looks good to go. We're gonna hit the go button. All right, so our design just finished cutting. We're gonna unload here and since we just unloaded the design, I'm going to turn on our hat press. And on the Cricut Heat app, it did prompt me to do the second setting. So that's what I'm gonna do here today. While that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the design here. As you can see, we have a ton of extra iron-on that we can use for another project later. So I'm gonna save this for another project later. Next, we're going to go ahead and weed out the excess vinyl around the design that we don't need. And I think weeding is my favorite part. I don't know about you, but I think it's very therapeutic. It's just so satisfying pulling out the design. So this excess vinyl we don't need, so we'll just throw that. This one's a little stubborn. And we just heard the beep on the hat press, so that means that it's ready to go when we're done weeding this out. All right, so everything is weeded. Our design looks good to go. Now we're going to grab our bucket hat. And then the hat form goes inside and there is a little lip around the bucket hat. So I'm gonna flip that out. Make sure it's all snug and tight. Looks 
good. And since there's not really a front or back here, I'm just gonna use the side that looks good to me. So I'm gonna use this as the front of the bucket hat here. This is an optional step. You can preheat your surface. You don't have to. I like to do it. I think that the iron-on stays a little bit better. But again, personal preference. And I just warm it up for about five to 10 seconds. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put our design down. And then we're gonna tape it down using our strong heat resistant tape. And with this tape, you do want to lay down all sides. So you're gonna create a little window, just so everything is nice and secure. Now that everything is nice and secure, we're gonna go ahead and grab our hat press and press go. And it is on the second setting. Like I said, I used the Cricut Heat app so I knew how hot to make this press. Okay, so the hat press just notified me that it is all good to go. So we're gonna put that back in the base. And I am gonna let this cool down just a bit before I remove the tape and the backing. All right, so it's cool enough that we can start peeling off. It's just barely warm to the touch. So I'm pushing in the design as I peel, just because you'll notice they don't want to stick fully, but we don't want to ruin the design by continuously going over it with the heat press. Now that I've taken off the tape and the backing, the design looks amazing. I can't wait for my family members to see the hats that I've made. I love how this bucket hat turned out and I know my family's gonna love it too. Make sure to check out our other Let's Make It videos on Cricut's YouTube channel.